After liking an endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. That endorsement came from Taylor Swift. Now, Clark liked the endorsement on Instagram. <laughs> Taylor Swift! Caitlin Clark and Taylor Swift. Two names you probably didn't expect to hear in the same sentence. But trust me, after this video, you'll never look at Clark's game the same way again. We're about to expose just how deep this obsession goes and why it matters for the WNBA. You know Clark as the rookie sensation taking the WNBA by storm. But did you know she's also a massive Swifty? That's right, the same girl who's breaking records on the court is also breaking it down to shake it off before games. But here's the crazy part. Clark's love for Swift isn't just some random fun fact. It's actually reshaping her game and the entire WNBA. Imagine this, a pop star influencing one of the biggest names in women's basketball. Sounds wild, right? Well, get ready, because we're about to show you just how deep this rabbit hole goes. From pre-game rituals to record-breaking performances, Clark's Swift obsession is changing everything. Taylor Swift! Woo! Don't be in love with some... You've heard of players having lucky socks or special handshakes. But Caitlin Clark? She's got something way more powerful up her sleeve. What if I told you there's one Taylor Swift song that's become Clark's secret weapon on the court? That's right, folks. While other players might be pumping iron or perfecting their jump shot, Clark's busy getting her swift on, and it's not just any song. We're talking about You Belong With Me. This isn't just some random choice either. It's Clark's go-to anthem, the tune that gets her heart racing and her mind focused before every game. Now you might be thinking, come on, how much can a pop song really help? Well, let me tell you, it's not just about the music. For Clark, Swift's songs are like a secret superpower. She calls them her supernatural aid. It's wild, right? But here's the thing, it works. Picture of this. Clark's in the locker room, headphones on, bobbing her head to the beat. As Swift's voice fills her ears, something magical happens. Clark's focus sharpens, her energy surges. It's like she's channeling Swift's confidence and fearlessness right there on the court. And the results, they're off the charts. Remember that game where Clark dished out a mind-blowing 19 assists? Yeah, you can bet Swift was blasting through those headphones beforehand. It's like Clark's found this perfect mix of pop music and basketball magic, and she's riding that wave all the way to the top. But here's where it gets really interesting. It's not just about the music itself. There's something deeper going on here. Think about how Taylor Swift commands a stage, how she's got thousands of fans hanging on her every word. Now switch gears and watch Clark on the court. See any similarities? That's right. Clark's got that same magnetic presence. When she's got the ball, all eyes are on her. She's not just playing the game, she's owning it. It's like she's learned how to capture an audience from the queen of pop herself. So next time you see Clark sinking those three pointers or making those impossible passes, remember, there's a little bit of Taylor Swift magic behind every move. It's not just about being a fan anymore. For Clark, it's about channeling that Swift energy and using it to dominate on the court. Basketball world, uh, you are Taylor Swift, like having an impact on so many people, like, like what's that mean to you? Um, you know, you always wanna go out there and you know, give it your best. You'd think being a Taylor Swift super fan would be all fun and games for a rising basketball star. But for Clark, it became a high stakes political drama overnight. How did she handle the heat when her love for Swift suddenly put her in the crosshairs? It all started with a simple double tap on Instagram. Clark liked a post from Taylor Swift endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris. After liking an endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. That endorsement came from Taylor Swift. Now, Clark liked the endorsement on Instagram. But I have, and that's the same thing Taylor did. Um, and I think continue to educate yourself um, with the candidates that we have, the policies that they're supporting. Seems harmless, right? Well, in today's charged political climate, that tiny action set off a firestorm. Suddenly, Clark wasn't just the rookie sensation lighting up the WNBA. She was thrust into a heated debate about politics, celebrity influence, and the role of athletes in social issues. The backlash was swift and intense. Some fans were furious, 
feeling betrayed by what they saw as Clark taking sides in a divisive political landscape. One angry comment summed up the mood. Definitely should have stayed out of politics a Caitlin Clark toy too. Loved watching you, but now I refuse after seeing you support Taylor. Ouch. That's got a sting for a young player still finding her footing in the Pro League. But here's where it gets really interesting. Instead of backpedaling or going into damage control mode, Clark took a page right out of Taylor Swift's playbook. She stood her ground and used her platform to encourage civic engagement. Clark's response, pure class. She didn't get into a political mood-slinging match or try to explain away her like. Instead, she focused on the bigger picture. I have this amazing platform, Clark said. So, I think the biggest thing would be just to encourage people to register to vote. I have this amazing platform, so I think the biggest thing would be just to encourage people to register to vote. Um, I think for myself, this is the second time I can vote in an election. I Talk about turning lemons into lemonade. Clark took a potential PR nightmare and transformed it into a teachable moment. She encouraged fans to educate themselves on candidates and policies, emphasizing the importance of informed participation in democracy. This wasn't just about damage control. It was Clark showing real leadership both on and off the court. She navigated the treacherous waters of public opinion with the same poise she shows when threading impossible passes through defenders. And you know what? This whole episode revealed something deeper about Clark's connection to Taylor Swift. It's not just about the music or pre-game pump-up songs. Clark's channeling that fearless Swift energy in how she handles criticism and uses her voice. Think about it. Taylor Swift faced similar backlash when she started speaking out on political issues. But she didn't back down. She used her massive platform to encourage voter registration and civic engagement. Sound familiar? Clark's handling of this controversy shows she's learning from Swift in more ways than one. She's developing that same resilience, that ability to weather storms of criticism while staying true to her values. It's like she's taking Swift's lyrics to heart. As a Kansas City Chiefs fan, how long will Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift last? They're gonna get married. Oh. <laughs> you heard it here Not first. Haters gonna hate, 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 hate. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. While Clark was busy brushing off criticism, she was quietly rewriting the WNBA record books. Remember when everyone said rookies need time to adjust to the pro game? Clark didn't get that memo. Let's talk about Clark's rookie season for a second. This girl came into the league and started breaking records like they were made of glass. First up, she became the only player in WNBA history to rack up 50 plus points and 25 plus assists over any two game span. That's not just good, that's video game numbers. But Clark wasn't done there. She decided to show off her passing skills by dishing out 19 assists in a single game against the Dallas Wings. That's a new WNBA record, folks. Imagine being so good at setting up your teammates that you literally do it better than anyone else ever has in the league. You know what's even crazier? Clark led all rookies in three-pointers made and attempted. She was out there shooting like she was playing pop -a shot at the arcade. And when it came to assists, she wasn't just leading, she was dominating. Pablo, she is a phenomenal, phenomenal talent and an even better person. I happen to have met and did an event with Caitlin Clark. I think she's wonderful. By the end of her rookie season, Clark was expected to have over 100 more assists than the second place rookie. That's not a gap, that's a canyon. Now, let's take a step back and think about this for a second. Clark's journey in the WNBA is starting to look a lot like Swift's early career in music. Both of them faced skeptics who thought they were too young, too inexperienced to really make it big. But just like Swift kept cranking out hit after hit, Clark kept breaking record after record. Remember how Swift's first album went multi-platinum when everyone thought country pop was dead? Well, Clark just smashed a record that had been standing for years. She racked up 225 assists in her rookie season, more than any other rookie in WNBA history. That's like Swift's fearless album breaking sales records all over again. But here's the thing. It's not just about the numbers. It's about the way Clark plays the game. She's got this fearless attitude on the court, taking shots that most rookies wouldn't even think about attempting. Sound familiar? It's that same fearless spirit that made Swift stand out in the music industry. 
And just like Swift keeps reinventing herself with each album, Clark keeps finding new ways to dominate on the court. One game, she's breaking the assist record. The next, she's lighting it up from beyond the arc. It's like watching a basketball version of Swift's genre-hopping career. All right, let's talk about the ultimate payoff for Caitlin Clark's Taylor Swift obsession. This girl went from jamming to Swift's tunes in her bedroom to dominating the WNBA court. But the real magic happened when these two worlds collided. Picture this. Clark, fresh off breaking WNBA records, finds herself face to face with her idol at a concert. It's like all her dreams came true at once. This wasn't just some random fan meeting. It was a moment that showed how far Clark had come. You know what's crazy? Clark's love for Swift didn't just make her a super fan. It helped shape her into a basketball superstar. It's like she took Swift's fearless attitude and brought it to the court. So next time you're chasing your dreams, remember Clark's story. Your passions might just be the secret ingredient to your success.